What up, world? I'm Steve, founder and CEO of CryptoCrewUniversity.com, home of the number one crypto classes. If you want to take this complex world of crypto, make it super simple so that you have more success, this channel is for you. Hit that subscribe button right now. Join the movement and everybody hit that thumbs up button. This is a pivotal, pivotal time in Bitcoin's history. We are at a breaking point, very close to a breaking point. Out and price action is narrowing, volatility is narrowing. This is the calm before the storm in Bitcoin is going to surprise everyone in October. That's what this video is all about. We're going to dive deep into the data in the charts, all of the facts in the charts. No opinions will be discussed today and it's going to be incredibly powerful. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Happy Wednesday to you and special shout out to everybody for all the B-Day love. That was incredible and a special shout out to you if you just had your birthday or you're about to have your birthday. A special shout out to you. I got to spend it with my family, my first ever birthday with my son. I got to fly my mom out to join us as well. Incredible. So let's get into this video. So much to cover during this critical, critical time in Bitcoin's history. So in this video, a lot is going to be covered starting with October. Why October? When in October? What do we expect to happen in October? What the charts are telling us will be discussed today. Also on top of that, the most critical charts to watch right now to, to decide if we're going to have a major move up or down. I'm going to tell you the number one chart to watch right now so that you can stay several steps ahead of everybody. And then today, Steve's secrets to success. We're going to talk about failure and how everybody has been programmed incorrectly when it comes to to failure. Let me know your guesses what you believe that will be when we get there. So as you know, Bitcoin has gone really, really parabolic after our bottoming of the market. This move was really fast. It was really powerful. And we called for the top of it with the Gravestone Doji candle. Leading up to the Gravestone Doji, we warned everybody that just was it was not a healthy move. And we were blessed and fortunate to be on the right side of the track. And we called out our first failed rally. We were we were well prepared for that. This was not a surprise to us. We called out the second failed rally, and now we've been consolidating. So there's a lot to get to in today's video, but specifically about October. I want you to be very, very ready mentally prepared for what is coming because this is the calm before the storm. But first I want to introduce you to Lance. Lance is from South Africa and Lance is probably a lot like you. Loves the YouTube videos, had been watching for many, many months and hadn't signed up for the classes until he learned a very important lesson. What is that lesson and what happened to Lance? Let's find out. And I've missed them. And Steve kept on saying, his channel wasn't for teaching you what to do. It was just to share some knowledge. And so finally I decided, okay, let me do the course. And I bought just the intermediary course. And I did it. And when I finished, I realized that my knowledge had gone up a billion fold. And so I immediately got the advanced course. I got the pro course. And I did them. And that changed everything. I now trade with a whole different understanding. In my first three months, I made back what I spent on the course times three. Now, I'm not bragging about that because if you do the course, you will realize that that's actually not a major achievement. In the course, Steve teaches things so simply. It is easy to understand. There you have it from Lance. Lance, special shout out to you. And look, what Lance realized are my, my videos are really incredible, but they do not cover my customized strategies to dominate Bitcoin. All of those strategies are only covered in my classes. So if you wanna get out of the herd, you wanna get out of the rat race, you wanna turn around your portfolio, the classes are your ticket. 
this is how to sign up. So Lance signed up to essentially the gold combo, right? He took them one at a time, which is a lot more money. So if you're struggling with finances, you can definitely start with just the intermediate. But Lance took what's called the gold combo, where you can save a bunch of money by signing up to the package together. So you're gonna sign up to the diamond combo if you're really new to crypto. Just getting into crypto, the diamond combo includes all of the classes start to finish. So if you don't wanna miss any material, the diamond combo is perfect for you and we have a massive sale right now that's about to end. So do not miss it, the clock is ticking. Diamond combo, first link, right down in the description, link it for you in the video, or go to the website, CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Gold combo, that's what Lance got. That's a one I highly recommend, it's our top seller. This is your opportunity. This is the moment that you take action and turn everything around for the rest of your life. The gold combo, second link, look right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video or go to CryptoCrew university.com. If you have any questions, email me right now, info at cryptocrewuniversity.com. I want you to be like Lance. Lance tripled the, mo the money that he invested into the classes. He tripled in the first few months. That's the feeling I want to give you, that feeling of success. Now, let's get into the video. We're going to start here. And the reason why October, we have to discuss first. So Steve, where did this October come from? How are the charts yelling at us that October is a pivotal, pivotal month in Bitcoin's history? Well, we look here at this fascinating chart that I showed you a few videos back, a few weeks ago. And by the way, happy Wednesday to you. This is really strange because Bitcoin now is at $10,000, just like last week just like the Wednesday before, just like the Wednesday before. In fact, I think it's five or six videos in a row that we fall right back at 10K as we start our video. So fun fact for you. But let's jump into it. We had our golden cross back here in 2015. So we had a golden cross followed by a three month rally, then followed by a three month consolidation, then followed by a three month rally and then three months consolidation and then the three month rally and then three months consolidation. This pattern repeated itself for many, many months until we broke our all time high. Once we broke our all time high, we had what's called the blow off top. There are two phases to the bull market. Number one, the phase that goes relatively slow until we break an all-time high, and then we go parabolic for a shorter period of time, and then we repeat the whole process again, where we go into a bear market, and then we do this all over again. These are market cycles. You have to pay attention to market cycles so that you can be well ahead of the pack. So simply put, three months breakout, three months consolidation. We just had our golden cross in this three month candle with a three month breakout. And now we're in our, our three month consolidation. We just have a few months left for this candle to close. We're right on schedule, we're right where we're supposed to be. So this next candle is supposed to start in October and last for three months. We're talking about October, November, and December. During those three months, we should have a very large break. We're gonna talk about up or down and we're gonna dig into the nitty gritty of what the charts are saying, but let's hypothetically say we follow this pattern and it's a break to the upside. We expect that tier to be around 20K by Christmas, right? So when October, November, December, that should be our major break the next three months, the next wave of this cycle is about to take effect. So we need to be ready for that. But let's dig into the charts a little bit more. Let's dig in specifically to October's. What is history telling us about Bitcoin in October? That's what this chart is really going to dig into the nitty gritty. We're going to start way back in 2010 in October. And we just had an enormous move. We can't expect a move like this more than likely ever again, because as we get more money into the market, there's a big misconception. Once more money comes in, people think we have more volatility. That's 
completely false. That's completely incorrect. That's the herd mentality, and the herd is always on the wrong side of the fence. So this was a over a 4,000% move, which is just ridiculous in one, in one month, I'll, I'll remind you. So October was obviously a pretty big deal back in 2010. How about in 2011? 2011, we went down 60%. So if you're wondering what this green channel is, this is the Gossen channel, and we're going to get into that uh, really in, in a really fascinating way as this video progresses. But down 60% in 2011, right? What about 2012? As we fast forward here, 2012 in October was down 30%. So these are substantial moves. These are pivotal moves in the market during a critical time. October historically is is something to really pay attention to. So we have to be buttoned up and ready. 2013 led into a 75% rally, which is pretty massive. Mind you, this is one month, 75%. It's very large, right? So as we continue into 2014 and beyond, you saw a 40% increase in 2014 in one month. So these are really critical moves in the market, up 54% in 2015. If you remember 2016, a 30% increase, 30% nothing to really uh, get excited about. But in one month, we have to be pretty excited about that. 2017, obviously, with phase two of the bull rally, everything really playing out nicely in a 95% move in one month. And 2018 was right before we broke heavily to the downside. So the calm before the storm, once again, represented in 2018 in October, right before we had our three-day death cross and broke heavily to the downside. And now the big question is, well, which way is this thing going to go? And the main thing I want you to watch, the main thing I want you to watch is this level right here, the 21-week moving average. I can't stress this enough. And what I want to point out is this week, this candle hasn't closed yet, right? Last week, we confirmed a bullish engulfing candle. This week hasn't closed yet. But let's look where we are right now. We do not want the body of the candle to close below 9,400. I want you to watch that closely. Next week's candle, if we fast forward, we can just project where our 21-week moving average will be roughly here, right? Next week, we do not want to close below, the body of the candle below 9,700. And we're going to keep increasing. The following week, it's probably going to be around 10K. If we see a body close below there, it's going to get pretty ugly. A lot of people, and we did a, a, a Twitter poll, where we said, what do you think the next big move is going to be, up or down? And it's pretty split. It's almost 50-50. Over 1,000 humans voted. You can go vote now, Crypto Crew U. And what a lot of folks said who think it's going to go down, they said, you know what? I think it's going to go down to around 8K and then explode to the upside. I just want to say, based on the evidence in the chart, not my opinion whatsoever, that's very unlikely. If we break this with the body closing below here, the only level I personally would watch based on the evidence in the chart is 6,300. That's it. I wouldn't watch any other level. I wouldn't watch 9K, 8K, 7K. I would watch 6.3K as the next, and, and, and that's more, more than likely the most powerful level in all of Bitcoin. So... Let's just stress that if we hold, if we continue to hold this right here as support, expect October, November, December to be pretty large to the upside, potentially up to 20K where we're going to have some resistance come in and we could have uh, this pattern play out where we have another three months of uh, consolidation after we reach around 20k so that's what i'm looking at in the short term and the long term right to give you a snapshot of all right what's the most critical thing to watch what do we expect to the upside what can we expect to the downside and what's the deciding factor the 21 week moving average right we need to let more evidence come into the charts 
and not use our emotional opinion. Oh, I think it's going to go here. Oh, I hope it goes here. Oh, I really think this. I think is garbage. Take the, take the phrase, I think, throw it directly in the trash. We should only go off what the candles are saying, what the price ashing is telling us, and potentially indicators. What are they saying? Not us, not our emotional. Emotion is a money killer. We want to always look left. We want to be ahead of the herd. And that, my friend, is how to stay ahead of the herd. So we're going to dig into some more charts and we're going to get into more timing of why October is so important and what do we see playing out in the evidence in the charts that can indicate October is going to be a pretty big deal. So we want to stay ahead of the curve. But first, I want to show I want to show you this. I want to talk about this. This was such a special day. I shared with you guys my vision a few months ago. Uh, no, about one month ago, where I wanted to give to one student at a time and, and do a, a system where we can really change lives. I stepped into this school and I said, I need to do something bigger. I need to do something that I've never done before, which is give to the whole school. And it was, I'm so happy I did that. This is one of the best things I've ever done in my life. And I recommend you do something like this in your journey, in your life. It'll be such a powerful feeling. Imagine that you walked through those doors. You walked through those doors and you saw these kids' faces and how they felt. And you were able to impact a ton of students, all ages. Imagine that was you. How would that make you feel? Knowing that in order to do this, you're not only taking care of yourself. You're not only taking care of your family. You're not only watching your portfolio grow. You're able to give back, which is the ultimate. And that's what I want you to have. And that's what I want to teach you how to do. My classes are a game changer. You already heard from Lance. My classes are a game changer. I want to take you out of the herd, put you on the right side of the fence so that you can start watching your portfolio, take care of your family, and have the ability to give back and really achieve your success that you've been dreaming of and wanting. Massive sale right now. Do not miss this opportunity. The clock is ticking. You're going to sign up to the gold combo. A lot of people ask, Steve, what's the difference between the gold and the diamond? The gold combo is our top seller. And the only thing it doesn't have is the beginner series. If you're really new to crypto, all of my classes are included in the diamond. If you think you can skip the beginner, you sign up to the gold. It's that simple. If you think you can skip the beginner, you sign up to the gold. If you want all of the classes, including the beginner, you sign up to the diamond. So you're going to sign up to the diamond if you're really new to crypto. First link, look right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video as well, or go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Sign up to the gold if you've been in crypto around one to two years. Second link, look right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video as well. Again, if you want to skip the beginner, the gold is perfect for you. If you want all of the classes, the diamond is perfect for you. Any questions, email me, info at CryptoCrewUniversity.com, info at CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Again, if finances are a concern, you can be like Lance, sign up to the intermediate first, get a taste of the high quality of learning, and then you can go from there. So that's what you're going to do. CryptoCrewUniversity.com will get you the intermediate if you want to sign up to that one first. What I want you to watch also, and this will give us a good indication as it's a daily signal, is the greed and fear index. You can see last month, obviously, there was a lot of blood in the streets. But again, what we looked at over the past six, eight months are, are simple trends. Simple trends. We were continuing to make higher highs after higher high after higher high after higher high for what, six, seven, eight months. Now we reverse trend. We're in a, we're in a straight up downtrend. There's no arguing that. There's evidence in the chart. No emotional opinion. We're in a downtrend. When are we going to break it? We have to show signs in the chart. And we're not showing any indication yet. We're continuing to make our, we made our high, our lower high, our lower high, our lower high, while making lower lows. We're in a, we're in a distinct trend. It's a downtrend. There's no signs yet of us breaking it as we speak here in mid-September-ish. 
Now, let's dig into the Gaussian channel a little bit more, and let's look at some really fascinating things. We're going to compare this in 2015 to today, and the reason is simple. We talked about a handful of, of videos ago how the Gaussian channel recently turned from red to green. The first time in three and a half years we flashed this signal. And we we did this after we had our market bottom and we had our first tier, right? Market bottom, golden cross, breakout, tier one, right? Market bottom, golden cross, breakout, tier one. The same exact scenario happened in 2015 where we had our market bottom, golden cross in October, breakout tier one, right? And it just so happened that the change from red to green back in 2015 happened pretty much in the middle of tier one. So if you take tier one, all of our consolidation, right in the middle is when we change from red to green. And we didn't change from red to green again for three and a half years. Going from red to green is pretty significant. So if you go fast forward here, it took three and a half years for us to change from red to green, right? Red to green happened three and a half years later directly in tier one. After our bottom, after a golden cross, and after a large breakout. These are four distinct things that happen in unison together to form what move we're in right now. And by the way, if we understand, okay, back in 2015, we changed from red to green pretty much in the middle of our tier one, in the middle of consolidation. That will tell us, okay, if we take the amount of time from our top, right, from our top to our change, we're talking about 35 days, right? And if we take from here to here, we're roughly 42 days in. This tells us that in the next week, two, three weeks, we should be rounding up tier one and heading into our next stage, which again, if we continue to hold the 21 weekly moving average, we're gonna move into tier two. Look at what tier two looks like. Tier two, was a pretty large break to the upside, right? Pretty large break to the upside if it's percentage wise. We'll just take it right before the breakout to the breakout. We're looking at 80%. It's pretty substantial, right? A pretty substantial break to the upside. Doesn't look like much here on the weekly chart, but tier two and then a large consolidation breakout and moving into tier three. So that's what it's looking like in terms of time, right? We can understand that we're in this move right now, right? Just take a look. We're in this move right now, and we're in tier one, right? This is where we take this complex world of crypto, make it super simple so that you have more success. Hit that subscribe button right now and hit that like button and make sure you have that bell on. But again... We want to always keep the charts super simple. A lot of people who are beginners, less than five years of experience, are overcomplicating the charts with a lot of useless things that are simply confusing. The most powerful traders in the world, the people who have achieved the most success, keep it simple. And if you do that in life and in trading and have a clear mind with this distinct vision and step-by-step -step formula, you're going to achieve substantially more success than everyone that's trying to do 10 things at once, right? We talked about that in our channel at length as well. So tier one, check. Change from red to green, check. The only problem is back here, do you know what formation this is? Were you paying attention in last week's video? Think about it right now. What's this formation? If you said the ascending triangle, props to you. This is the ascending triangle, and this is what makes me a little bit nervous. We had one distinct top, and we kept battling the top and getting rejected. As we got rejected and had our fall down, we continued to make higher highs. We made our higher lows, sorry. We made our low here, our higher low, our higher low, our higher low, as we continue to get rejected from the same level. This is the opposite formation as of today. 
right? We said in last week's video, right now we're forming a descending triangle. We're continuing to form lower highs as we have the same base. So it's a little bit concerning, but again, if we continue to hold the 21 weekly moving average, things are looking very, very bright. Let's get into the next chart. Let's just make sure we changed from here and we changed, yes. So the next one, we're gonna dig into it even deeper. And this is really fascinating. So at the bottom of each chart, well first, on this side we have 2015, right? On this side is present day. And we have two sections of the chart. The above, which we'll get to in a moment, and the below is the MACD. Now this is a fascinating chart that I showed you about six months ago. And it was incredibly, incredibly powerful. I'll show you why in a minute. So we've got the MACD at the bottom. We have price action above. We've got 2019 present day here, 2015 here. Now, we'll go rewind the clocks to 2015. We had our bottoming of the market, right, in 2015. Something we covered at length. And then we had a MACD cross on March 9th, 2015, which happened to be right around the middle of our bear market. The reason this was significant was we had this cross in the middle of our bear market and then went on a massive rally into tier one, which is highlighted in blue. This is tier one where we had our breakout all the way up here. We went up a couple hundred percent and then we have our beautiful consolidation period forming our textbook ascending triangle and then we had a further break to the upside. But before we did that, we had a few hundred days before we had another cross, just like today. Take a look at present day. We had our bear market, right? Relatively short, but we had a bear market with our consolidation down here, and we had a textbook cross of the MACD, which we covered in our video, saying that this was, quote, significant because it hadn't done this in, in many, 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 many months at the time of the video. So we had the same thing happen. We had our cross in the MACD in the midst of our bear market, in the midst of our consolidation, and we didn't cross again until just in last week's candle. In last week's candle or just about this week's candle. So that tells us that we had our cross back here in tier one, we're in tier one again, and we had our cross here towards the end of tier one, right? So we know that tier one was a lot of consolidation and our cross happened towards the end of tier one, which tells us we just had our cross. It tells us that we're getting towards the end of this consolidation period, right? It should be through September and then October should be kind of the market shift. October doesn't mean boom, prices to the moon, suddenly Bitcoin's at 20K. It means that's the shift. That's the start of our three month candle of going up, right? We're gonna, we should hold support on the 21 week. It should push momentum up and our next breakout should be around this price unless we break through the 21 week moving average. The only price I'm looking at is the 6.3K. So this is really substantial. You can see, let's just take a measured move here, how many days it took to cross. 203 days. Think about that. 203 days. We had a MACD cross here. 203 days later, we had our second. Very similar to here. I think this one was a little bit longer because Bitcoin's moving sub substantially faster now. Yeah, that sounds about right. 371. Bitcoin, during this move, it's been moving approximately twice as fast as 2015, which is a little worrisome to me personally. I don't like that type of movement without building market structure. However, we're building market structure as we speak on our third month of consolidation. So these are substantial pieces to keep in mind. The stars are aligned, it appears, for October to be a pretty significant move in Bitcoin's history. And there's only one level that we know we must watch. It's very, very clear that the 21 weekly moving average is our key. And again, 
pay close attention to where it should be next week, the week after, and the week after. And if we have a body close below, it's big trouble. So get ready. Get ready. This is going to be an exciting time. This is the calm before the storm, right? If you're still looking at Bitcoin prices every day on your phone, you, you need to face reality. You've got a problem. You're trading with emotion. You should not be looking at Bitcoin's price more than once or twice a day. If you're taking a look at Bitcoin's price, you're on coin market cap, you need to change what you're doing. That means you're just trading with emotion. You need to be like Lance. Lance realized, hey, Steve's videos, incredible. I love him. I watched him for many months, but he does not share his secrets to dominating crypto, the step-by-step -step strategies to dominating crypto. That's in his classes. I want you to take action. I want you to be like Lance. I want you to be able to change around your portfolio, build that success, take care of your family better, build your portfolio, and be able to give back to this, to this world. And that is the beauty. That is the position I want to get you in. Let's take a look at Lanny J writing in a review on the website. Lanny is in his early 50s right? Early 50s and was able to use the profits from my classes to build himself a luxury office in his home, a man cave for my workspace. And I highly recommend pause this video and read this top to bottom. It's a, it's a game changer. This is a really good one. So Lanny says that there's a few things you need to pay attention to. So obviously he took the classes. He did very, very well, but there's a couple things that in his mind it really changed the way he thought. For example, number one, if you are just watching the YouTube videos and expecting to trade, don't, capital letters, end quote. If you want to be a part, do part of the courses and trade, don't. That's why I do the combo classes. You need to finish the classes and then everything will be crystal, crystal, crystal clear and so powerful. It's like if you went to school to be a doctor and you just took a few classes and you're like, oh, I can go into surgery today. No, absolutely not. This is absolutely a game changer. The crypto world is a game changer. You may have missed out on investing in Apple early on or Amazon early on, and you probably are still kicking yourself to this day. The only reason you didn't invest is you were in the herd. The herd didn't invest. Nobody in the herd invested. But when you're in the herd, that's the high majority. That's the 90, 95% of humans. I need to remove you from the herd, clear your mind, get a new mindset, get you a step-by-step -step strategy that will change everything for you. And by the way, for the rest of your life. So again, pause this video and take a look at, at Lanny. If you think the courses are expensive, don't. I earned three times what I paid for the courses in the first two months after completing the courses. So he even did a little bit better than Lance. So I want you to be next. Put your foot down and this is where you change everything because we have a massive sale and it's about to, to run out, it's about to expire. Diamond Combo includes all the classes. Diamond will be perfect for you if you're super new to crypto. First link right down in the description, a massive $800 savings with credit card or PayPal. If you sign up with Bitcoin Ethereum, extra $500 off. Do not miss this opportunity. Gold Combo, if you feel like you can skip the beginner, if you've been in crypto around one to two years, Gold Combo, perfect for you. Second link, look right down in the description. I'll link it for you inside the video as well, or go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. A massive $500 savings with credit card or PayPal, or if you sign up with Bitcoin Ethereum, extra $500 savings, massive. Do not miss this opportunity. Any questions? Email me right now, info at CryptoCrewUniversity.com. I look forward to welcome, welcoming you in. Okay, Steve's secrets to success today. Woo, it's going to be a powerful one. I can't wait to share it with you. It's a lesson I could probably talk for seven, eight hours straight on, but we'll try to make it in just a few minutes. So, Oh, again, just a th thank you from the bottom of my heart for the B-Day wishes. But 
if you want to take this complex world of crypto, make it super simple so that you have more success, hit that subscribe button, join the movement right now, and hit that thumbs up. But like I was saying, thank you so much for the B-Day wishes. That was so special for me to read through everybody's comments. It, it really brought a smile to my face. First B-Day with my son, Prague. I was able to fly my mom out here as well and take care of her, which is really a special feeling for me, uh, very similar to giving back to the school. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Another thing I want to mention is just the, the realness of, of crypto it's an explosive industry which brings a lot of dirtiness to the industry people don't talk about the paid ads but I openly discuss that it's really really dirty I get emailed many times every single day seven days a week and they want me to lie to you they want to pay me ridiculous fees uh, they basically say Steve name your price we'll pay you and just please tell your fans that you use my exchange and my crypto products and my Bitcoin website and my this, my that, and my Bitcoin watch or my big, all, all this crap. They want me to lie to you and I can't tell the truth. They'll pay me 10,000, 15,000, 5,000. You name the price, they will pay it and it's so dirty. We will never, ever, ever, ever take paid ads, ever. I think we're one of the only uh, of the few channels that don't, you know, nothing against everybody that else that does. I just don't believe in that. I think it's very dirty, you know, to each their own. But you need to know the truth. There's a lot of greed out there. There's a lot of dirtiness out there. And just be smart about what people are saying. So I will never lie. Everything I do in my videos is straight from the heart. It takes me three days to make each video. Three days. I, I don't put out crap. I don't want to put out a bunch of videos and hope everybody. No, I only put out really high quality stuff that's straight from the heart. That's only based on the reality of the charts, the truth of the charts, the price action, no emotional opinions. And I want to make sure that you guys are on the right track. Because look, I made a lot of mistakes as I was a younger trader too. And I don't want you to make the same ones I did. So that's why I'm here to tell you the you know the the bs from from the real world stuff so that's my two cents and um you know watch out and if if you have one of these ridiculous companies please don't email me anymore i i really hate reading that crap um man i really don't like it i'm sorry to get you know emotional but that drives me crazy okay so one of the main points today, as you learn from Lance, is the difference between my YouTube, which you love, and my classes. In my YouTube videos, I will never share my distinct step-by-step -step strategies to dominate crypto. If you wanna dominate crypto and really change around your portfolio, that's what my classes are for. I wanna make that point really clear because a lot of you, and maybe it's you, You've been watching my videos for many months and thinking, you know what, I'm going to use, I think Steve meant this, or I think he, I think he's going to buy, I think he's going to sell, I think it means I should do this, I think maybe I should sell and buy back, and blah, blah, blah. these are, this is all emotion, and that's a terrible path. Don't make that mistake. I made that mistake as a younger trader too, and it's a terrible one. It took me a few years for it to really become clear, so take my advice, take my advice. If you're a student, Write your experience right now. What was your experience before my classes and after? Your words will inspire somebody and change their life from going down that bad path to being on the right side of the fence where there's not too many humans over there. So let me know if you're a student right now in the comments. Ooh, a quick update on the blue-footed booby. I put it on uh, Twitter. Twitter is at CryptoCrewU. It was the first time I really posted anything from my personal life and we rescued a bird from the beach the beach is just right outside the window and this blue-footed booby is from the Galapagos which is really far away and uh, he basically came up to the fence and asked for help and it's week two he's still here he's recovering what I learned is it's it's uh, you know I try to give back to not only the humans but a lot of animals especially dogs big dog lover uh, we've helped homeless dogs 
all over the world. We've lived in a whole bunch of countries. We is me and my significant other. And now my son will be a part of this journey too, which I can't wait to teach him about that. But when you give back, it's a special feeling. Week two with the booby. Let me know in the comments if you want to see like more things from my personal life and not just about the charts and crypto. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that. It looks like the feedback was really positive and it seems like you want more stuff like that. So the only two things I ever posted was about the, the blue-footed booby and um, giving back to the school, which actually happened on the same exact day. Fun fact for you. Now, let's get to Steve's secrets to success. Failure. This is a powerful one because you have been programmed incorrectly your whole life. And let me tell you why. Failure equals learning. Let me explain that to you. During school, during your early childhood, you went to elementary school, you went to you went to grade school, whatever you call it, you know, you're very young, you go to school, and let's say you fail a test. You know, let's say you're 12 years old, you fail a test, you get the paper put on your desk, you know the teacher's not happy with you. So already you're like, man, I failed, and the teacher's angry. And then the kids around you are like, wow, they, he failed, look, and they're, they're looking at your paper, and then you're embarrassed. So now all your friends are looking at you funny, the teacher's already angry with you, upset with you, disappointed in you, and you go home to your parents, and they are upset with you, they're disappointed with you. Now, as a 12-year-old, every human that you know in your entire life is upset with you because you failed. And you're like, man, I can't fail again. Let me avoid failing. And that's the key, avoid failing. So you're brought up your entire life avoiding failure. It's, it's instinctual in humans to avoid failing. But I'll tell you one thing that's crystal clear, crystal clear. The only difference between successful people and unsuccessful people are that successful people are okay with failing. They're okay with taking themselves out of their comfort zone because they know it's learning. The people that are normal, the average, in the herd, in the rat race, they're afraid to fail. And I don't blame them because society has programmed them to be afraid of failing. So afraid, in fact, that they'll never really do the things that they want to do. And think about it. There's probably something you want to do. There's something that you want to start. Maybe a side business. Maybe you want to quit the job. Maybe you want to go travel more. Maybe you want to do this or do that. But there's one fear failure. It's a huge fear and it stops you from trying to do everything that you want to do. It's instinctual in humans and we've been programmed our whole life. But I guarantee one thing, if you find a millionaire, if you find a multimillionaire, someone that's made 10, 20, 50 million, I guarantee the only difference between them and everyone in the herd is they failed way more because they were okay with it. That's the only difference. If you find a highly successful person, they didn't achieve success on their first try or their second try or their third try. They had many failing companies, failing businesses before they struck gold. It wasn't by luck. That's by design. They have a different mindset. They're able to say, you know what? Failure, I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I'm going to chase my dreams and nothing will stop me. And that's the difference between successful people in unsuccessful people. So let me know in the comments down below if you really connect with that feeling, if you feel the same way. I uh, would love to hear your opinion as well, but I want you to become successful. And failure is the only thing that you have to pick up, throw it on the floor, stomp on it, and throw it directly in the garbage. But you have to program this. You've got to program this. And guess what? My classes help you do that. Other crypto classes don't affect this they teach you just strategy strategy i sell it's like 80 20. it's 20 percent strategy 80 percent this thing strongest thing humans have and we don't know how to work it out we don't know how to build it up this is powerful once you get this right you want to achieve success you're going to do it so i'll leave you with those thoughts the last thing i just want to know uh, i want you to know you're going through something Everybody's going through something. You, the person to the right of you, to the left of you, you're going through something. And I want you to know that you can do it. 
You can do it. You got to believe in yourself. Whatever you're going through, maybe you're you're struggling with the bills, or you wanna you wanna achieve more success. You want to save more money. You have to really believe it. Don't let society beat you over the head with the failing mentality. Oh, failing, and and then you you feel, you know, you have to step outside your comfort zone, and you got to do something different. Right on the other side of your comfort zone is success and bliss and true happiness. Really, trust me, I've stepped out of my comfort zone by a mile many times, and it's really uncomfortable. I left my home country. I didn't know where I was really going. I didn't know anybody in the other countries I was going to, but I got on that plane, and I left my corporate job that was paying me a bunch of money, and I left my friends, my family. I left everything I knew. I jumped on the plane to the unknown outside of my comfort zone because I wanted to do it. That was my dream. I wanted to travel the world, live in different countries, experience different cultures. That's what I wanted to do. You've got to go do what you want to do and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure is learning every time. So that's what I'll leave you with today. I'll see you right back here next Wednesday. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, what the hell are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and join the movement. I'll see you right back here next Wednesday for another incredible video. It's been a special journey with you today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you right back here. Peace and love to the Crypto Crew.